Hello, we hope that you all are having a wonderful holiday season. We wanted to kind of combine a few things that we filmed over Christmas break. Yeah. So we went to Universal Studios and our main goal was to see Hogwarts at Christmas and to see the projection show that they do on the Hogwarts castle and we did it. It was, yeah, that was amazing. Cool. So I'm gonna include that in this video as well as our Christmas Eve tea. Yeah. So we went to the Four Seasons and they were doing a Winter Wonderland afternoon tea. So we booked it for Christmas Eve because this year, I don't think we talked about this, but this year we stayed in Orlando. Both of our families yeah. live in South Carolina. We weren't able to make it to see Matt's family yeah. yet. Not during the actual Christmas, but we were hoping to do it next month at some point. Yeah, but, but with the way that Matt's days off worked, normally he doesn't get Christmas Day off very yeah. often. Yeah. So we were very excited he had both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off. We just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting our channel and for being here for another year. Um, we're sorry that we didn't really show up here a lot this year, but it's been, like I said in our last video, it's been kind of a tough year for yeah, us. And, it's been um, a lot, and thank you for everyone for your support and your kind words. It means the world to us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, that's another thing that we wanted to talk about was we just appreciate your kindness in our last video yeah. um, regarding what's going on with Mickey. We actually had an appointment last week with the eye specialist, um, his most recent one, which he's right here. And Zoom, say hi. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> but we had an appointment last week and we had such a good report. She said that his eye, the inflammation in the front has gone completely away. Yeah, completely gone. There's still a little bit in the back and- yeah. um, This is the best that she's seen since the beginning of this whole thing. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, so months. So yeah. we were very, very thankful that he's on the up and up. Yeah. We're just really grateful for you. We yeah. hope that you had a wonderful holiday season. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, we hope that you're enjoying the end of the year and looking forward to a new year. Yeah, with that, I guess we'll go ahead and get into our day at Universal Studios first. Let's do yeah, that. Yeah, let's do it. Today we are at Universal Studios. We are here for one thing, and that is Christmas. Yes. He's feeling a little under the weather, has a little bit of the end of a cold going on. I'm enduring though. Yes. It's worth it. So we wanted to check out the Tribute Store. We're gonna take you there, and then also Christmas at Hogwarts, which I'm very excited to see. All right, we are on our way to find the Tribute Store. And it's over here. Look at the light post. They have Santa hats on top. <laughs> That's so cute. I love seeing everything decorated for Christmas. Okay, so let's head inside the tribute store. I tried to film this with my phone and you couldn't hear me talk at all. So we're gonna do a voiceover, but I was pointing out the nutcrackers and how beautiful the outside of the tribute store is. And when you go inside, it's kind of like a shipping department. So they were getting ready to ship all of the gifts around and the attention to detail is amazing. And here, the creative team at Universal always do such a great job. You can see these lines through the ceiling that they decorated that lead to all of the different parks or lands around Islands of Adventure as if they were shipping items that way. It is so cute. I always love looking at the details in this store. So as you can see, they have different items around like they were getting ready to ship. And I was pointing out the squirrel because look how cute the squirrel is. So here is the Wizarding World themed room. I love that projection in the window and it was kind of set up like an owlery. So there was different little cubby holes for the owls to rest in and it's just beautiful inside. Here we are looking at some of the merch. They have some ornaments and Matt was pointing out the chocolate frog, which look at how adorable that is. And then over here, we are looking at some of the stockings and they had Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff next to each other. And I told Matt it was meant to be uh, because those are both of our uh, Hogwarts houses. And then this is the Whoville themed area where they had all of the treats. So we picked up a couple of treats, but I wanted to show a few of these because they were so pretty. This one, the onion cheesecake sounded very interesting. The tribute store is so cute. I love all of the different theming. I think the room with all of the owls, kind of like the owlery. Oh, I love that. That was my favorite. Yeah. So Matt got a couple of treats. Yeah. He got the Max cookie and then a lump of coal. I think it's like a brownie, maybe. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Is it mousse? It kind of looks like chocolate mousse, doesn't it? Kind of. Oh, look, who's walking past. Oh, cool. Can you see? Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited to be here. I don't know what this is. Huh. 
Is it good or no? It's kind of like, it's like a mix between a cookie dough and a, and a nougat maybe. Huh, weird. I don't know. Oh my gosh, look, more are coming. Sorry, I'm so distracted by this. Wow. Was it a brownie or was it just, it was fudge? I don't really know. <laughs> Was it, it good? Was good yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like it, judging by your face, you don't look like you enjoyed it very much. But I think you just didn't know what it was. Strange the hands. Wait, hold on. Stay right there. You see what I see? Matt, I feel like you're about to be attacked. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now this one I'm excited about because Max is so cute. Yeah, I almost don't want to eat it though. I know it's too pretty. It's really well done. I feel like you need to start with the hat. Yeah. Is it soft? It looks like it. It looks yeah. like one of those really fluffy kind you know you get from the grocery store. It's like not, the sugar cookies. It's not crunchy. Mm. Seeing everything decorated for the holidays makes me so excited. I love all of the colors. It's so festive. Diagon Alley is all decorated for Christmas. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's snowing. As night begins the day, you see the sun in the sky. All right, before we go into Islands of Adventure, we're changing parks, but we're changing clothes. I'll show you what we got in just a second. So these were on sale. Normally $65, marked down for $30. Which is a good deal. Yeah. So we had to get them. That's better than a buy one, get one. I know, and it's, yeah, the total yeah. with our AP discount was $57. 57, yeah. Yeah, so that was great. Okay, but now they're doing Christmas at Hogwarts. A projection show we've never seen it before so we're gonna wait for that it's almost sunset now yeah any like really soon it'll be the sun will be down and I think it goes continuously after sunset that's so. what the app said so yeah. we'll see how often they do it I don't even really know what it is because like I said we've never seen it so I'm very excited to see that so let's go Everybody that's passing. Yeah, it's quite busy. This is Matt and I when we fight. <laughs> Isn't that us when we fight? <laughs> Look, this one's me right here. No, sometimes I'm that one. What? Look at that. You're thing. yelling at me and I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, let me see the other one. Wait a minute, you think that that's me? Yeah. No. <laughs> All the time. Okay, okay, that's not nice. <laughs> You know it's a busy day when you have to park. Oh, oh no. Sorry. <laughs> when you have to park at the top of the parking garage. Oh, such a fun day though. Did you have fun? That was a blast. Despite you getting over the cold, oh. which 
You were a good That's sport. fine. It's the time of year, right? Yeah. Thanks for hanging. Of course. It was fun. Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. We are doing something. Well, first, I guess I should say we are kind of having a quiet Christmas this year. We already went to see my family earlier in December in South Carolina and uh, we're unable to go and see Matt's family this weekend because it's a very rare occasion that Matt has Christmas Day and Christmas Eve off, yes. which very just so exciting. happens to be this year. So we typically do our family things either after Christmas or before Christmas instead of on Christmas Day. Um, but this year, Matt is off. So we are celebrating by doing something we've never done before. And we're going to the Four Seasons and having what they called, I think, a Winter Wonderland afternoon tea. Yeah. One of our favorite meals this year was kappa, which was at the Four Seasons. So we thought we would go and try it out again, this time for afternoon tea. What was it? It was in 2019, I think, for our anniversary, we did the afternoon tea at the Grand Floridian that yeah. they don't have right now. No, it's not even open yet. Or we don't know if it's coming if, back yeah, um, because it closed uh, during COVID and they just never brought it back. But we did a video on that too. I'll link it down below. But it was such a fun experience. So I have been wanting to replicate that since then because that was one of the best times. I love tea and I am I love afternoon teas. And it's, they're kind of hard to find really around are. here. I think that the Waldorf used to do one yeah. and then they quit doing mm. it. Um, so this is something that they're doing special just for the Christmas season. I think it was the entire month of December um, every weekend. I, if I'm, I'm, I may be wrong. This is our first time going. I don't know if they do it every year. I don't really know much about it. I just saw on the Four Seasons Instagram they were talking about it. So I clicked on the link and we immediately made reservations. So it should be really fun. Um, it's kind of a cloudy, dreary day today. Yeah, the um, sun went away, but it's okay. Yeah, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah. Here's a look at the Winter Wonderland afternoon tea menu. So it started December 1st and went through December 24th every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I was right. But everything looks so delicious. So to start, I got a glass of champagne. And Matt, what cocktail did you get? It's called Sugar Plum Fairy. It's made with bourbon and one of the teas that they offer called Valerian Dream. And there's tons of Christmas spices. It just tastes like Christmas it's in so a glass. Pretty. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's really good. All right, so the tower for you is, is insane. There's so many sandwiches. So they were able to accommodate um, not putting or using gluten-free bread on all of the sandwiches. So I have a cucumber and chai or something like that sandwich. First bite of what looks like this the is egg the egg salad. salad. Mm. Egg salad with Dijon. They also gave her the smoked turkey, fig jam, and brie. Ooh, that has apple too. This is delicious. And then the top one was the cucumber and mint. Yeah, so I'll try this one. Look at that. Look at this. That looks so delicious. Yeah. I love fig jam. Yeah. I think it's my favorite kind You're of You're very dark, but we're going to roll with it. Yeah. That's amazing. I need to I need to start eating, don't I? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love the fig jam. Yeah. I'm so happy we did this. Oh me too. Alright, let me show you all what we have on top here. Uh, this one is smoked salmon mousse puff pastry with hackleback caviar. Okay, wow, I really want that. The second one is actually two different biscuits. There is a hickory chicken and pimento cheese, and I don't know what the other one, oh, this one, I think it's the same thing, but this one in the back here has uh, ham on it. And then the bottom is the same ones that Shannon got, the smoked turkey, fig jam, and brie, and then the egg salad with the, uh, Dijon. Okay, my favorite salad, or my favorite sandwich, salad, <laughs> what I was going to say is the egg salad. What was yours? 
the turkey. The turkey? Yeah. I was so close to saying the turkey because I loved the fig jam. Yeah, the fig jam did it. The egg salad was so good. I need yeah. to know how they made it. It's so, it's so good. Everything's so good though. I literally every single one of those sandwiches. <laughs> back in the car after tea and I wanted to talk a little bit about what you thought of everything. Yeah. Um, we didn't film much of the sweet course once they brought that um, because it was, well there was a couple of things. They asked if I had a severe gluten allergy and I said yes celiac so then they gave me something that was plastic wrapped which was fine. It just, you know, it was kind of like a basic yeah. allergen like a friendly dessert that right. option that you would see at other places too. Um, and Matt, you had a, a like selection of different things. Yeah, there was uh, quite a few things. There were scones, I think there were cranberry scones. There was uh, a the tart. hazelnut um, mousse type of thing. There was a, a tart, I think mango. There was a macaron. There was a, a pistachio, I guess like another mousse, but it had like a cherry inside. So there's a lot of really nice desserts and they were good. I liked them. That didn't sound very convincing. Well, I was, I, at that point, I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And then I took like one bite of the scone and then I was like so full. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, the thing but it was really good. What, I, I highly recommend it. We didn't really pace ourselves ourselves with no. the savory course we literally ate every single sandwich on both of the towers yeah. and so by the time it was time for the second portion which was the desserts we both were kind of just done yeah. <laughs> like ready to be done yeah. and we drank so much tea because you each got a pot of tea and we both were i think just full at was that just full point. i mean i ate all the desserts too don't get me wrong right they were really good and i could tell they were made you know in my hand um, your stuff, I tried some of yours, and it was, they were okay. They were better than, better than most, but, you know. I'm just not a sweet person. I'm more savory, so I'll take something savory yeah. any day over anything sweet. So sweets don't really do anything for me. I'm fine without, with or without, you yeah. know. But, oh my goodness, that was an amazing yeah. experience. So and glad I, we did that. I also want to say, let me put my phone on silent. I also want to say that it was only $70 per person and $70 included either a glass of champagne or a cocktail, which yeah. Matt got the cocktail. They had an option of two, so we didn't get a cocktail menu when we no. sat down, um, but there were two options and then you could, or you could get a glass of champagne, which was included in the price per person. We were trying to think about how much was the one at the Grand Floridian when we did that, okay. and we can't remember how much it was back the, um, when we did it, but I feel like this was a really good value for what you got. I mean, we were both so full after just the first tower yeah, that we it, had. It was a lot of food for each person, and I feel like there was only two rounds. So there was the savory course and then the sweet course. And if I remember correctly, the Grand Floridian had three courses. Mm -hmm. You had the savory, I think you had some pastries and scones, and then you had the desserts. I don't remember. And by desserts and that one, I remember I was so full, mm -hmm. I couldn't touch anything. Um, but this one was nice. It was well paced, and we would definitely do it. Again. I loved it, and this, the carolers. Hopefully, this, they'll do this again because this, I want this to be a tradition. Yeah, I would love for this to be a tradition. <clears throat> and the carolers that came and sang at our table, they asked, yeah. "Did we have any favorite Christmas songs?" And I was like, "I just love them all." They sang "Carol of the Bells," which was beautiful. And I tried to film a little bit, but I didn't want to just like hold my camera in their face the whole time because I felt like that yeah. was really awkward. Uh, but they were so beautiful and so talented, and I just had. That was such a great way to spend yeah. Christmas Eve, I think. Yeah. I can't wait to do it again. We're definitely going to do it. We're going to try to make it a tradition. Yeah, I'm glad we got set on the patio because it was just open air and a nice yeah. breeze. And it was like 70 degrees today. Even with the clouds, it was beautiful. It so. was perfect weather and yeah, just such a great experience. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate you. We hope that you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. And um, yeah, we, we will see you. In, in, in the new year 2024 oh my gosh we might should we film something on new year's yeah we are but i yeah. probably won't have it uploaded until oh after. no yeah it'll yeah. be in the new year well we're gonna because be to matt also has new year's eve off i had to strategize for this one yeah <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason i don't i'm like 
we don't ever do anything like super yeah. spectacular for New Year's Eve. We used to have friends come over and then they had a kid and we don't see them anymore. So understandably. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we, yeah, we're probably just going to spend New Year's Eve in, but it's yeah. a holiday that I love. I think it's one of my, if not my favorite holiday. I just love a new start. I yeah. love fresh start. We have our setting. traditions. We, we do uh, some snacks and, you know, a little bit of bubbles and we, we try to find the Magic Kingdom fireworks somewhere streaming so yeah. that we can time it with the music and it's a whole thing. Yeah, so, so very special. we'll film that and um, yeah, so take you guys along with us to ring in the new year. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. And if you want to see more videos from us and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. We would love to have you here and we will see you again very soon. Bye. Bye.